So then we are back with the more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end. As per Yerushiahu the prophet, we find a layer of understanding of the spring feast, our feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid away for many centuries. So then the 61st chapter of Yeshiahu is extremely important because we then find these many layers where then we can absolutely without a shadow of a doubt then establish Leviticus the 23rd chapter as being the absolute true and then place us what then Shaliak Shaul has said regarding then the times and the seasons that we should not be ignorant of. However, when Shaliach Shaul was then obviously given then directives as far as the distribution of Ruach HaKodesh, he was obviously explaining that in order for them to receive and understand the plan of the future regarding the dispensation of the Spirit, they would have to have this knowledge of times and the seasons found in Leviticus 23rd chapter. Not only this, but then today we found out some much more information regarding then the time of the end, and part of it is related with the country of China. That today, absolutely, China has taken over the world because barely there is a very important visit of the APAC, extremely important visit, where you find the most important people of this planet being part of it such as obviously Mr. Xi and many presidents of the Asian Pacific you find then persons from Microsoft for instance the vice CEO you find then the most important aluminium company in the world with the primary production of aluminum obviously regarding then building of military aircraft and you find many other types of logistics and even FedEx is involved with this huge event and many other presidents of many other countries. So Asia is truly the new partner of the world's trade as per instructions because you find very precisely when you read then you find the kingdom of the east precisely when you then turn your instructions Daniel the 11th chapter. Not only this, but then reading from the instructions, we also then find the importance of then Arabia. And then, as we are then obviously waiting for China making its deal with DRC, extremely important because next year there is a showcase already on schedule. It's not yet divulged the date or the time. But then lots of companies from China and infrastructure and mining as per their own posting on China Daily News you can find and read then what they have in store as far as, as next year on Congo. Then let's from then on understand then the chapter of Ezekiel the first chapter where then you find the huge machine of synchronism where then Ezekiel saw for the first time during his lifetime this machine of synchronisms of every layer of the instructions regarding then the time of the end mostly because that's the time and we are at at the moment let's understand that the machine was used prior of the ending of the thousand years of the Messiah that's where every layer of the instructions then were put to test. So then we are going to repeat ourselves precisely at the ending of the time. And because of this, then let's understand from the viewpoint of China as the new leader of trade of the market, what goes on then with the sons of Ibrahim, Yishmael and Yitzhak. Let's understand then, Ibrahim had two sons and Yishmael was a king and he must receive then the leadership of the trade of the time of the end then obviously coming from China 
So then what's going to take place then as we read then Zechariah the fifth chapter and then let's try to understand what it means then the burden of Arabia. Obviously the rest of the world won't be liking very much in the future of the relationship of China and Arabia and let's try to understand why. Obviously you have then a couple of situations regarding the time of the end. You have then the autumn feast coming at the end and you have the preparation of the stick of authority of the Ishmaelites and then you have tabernacling on the land of Kush, northern Sudan. But then China was chosen then to lead the world in this primary section of the restoration period and they are taking their leadership as they should. But then what goes on later? Let's try to understand then next year when Congo then obviously receives from China what is required then for the completion of Daniel then the 11th chapter. And we can turn it there very quickly because then we can read and understand what it meant. If you then read chapter 11 of Daniel and verse number 5 you find then and the kingdom of the south shall be strong. Kingdom of the south is Africa. As we understand from Yerushiahu chapter 1-8 the prophet himself said woe to the land beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. He was precisely speaking of Congo or DRC. Why? Because they hold a lots of minerals required then for this time where then technology is extremely important so then trade can become then 100% computerized and then every person later in the future can do trade in their own personal computers. For these then later the US must come up with a very important computer where then makes these achievement then portable. The portable computer can be used in the entire world. As we understand China has many types of equipment up there in space and the signal is already in the vast majority of Asia and in fact around the world but it's not yet divulged. Let's understand then later every person then can do trade in this computer. But then prior of going so far let's understand then what it means then Zechariah chapter 5 very important and also Zechariah the fourth chapter both of them are very important. So then you find the fifth chapter very important the formation of couple of Galals from the word that you get Megillah where you get the document, the holy document the Hebrews use then to record. But the word Galal means a tube and those are a couple of tubes, one of them of 10, the other of 20. Those, if you understand what it meant as you project in the future, you truly understand those are a couple of atomic bombs. Why do you understand these as atomic bombs? Because when you read then the 8th chapter of Galah or Revelation, then you do understand what it meant. Then what it means then Arabia, for instance, the burden of Arabia, the 21st chapter of Yerushiahu, you find the first section. And then Zechariah reveals how then the burden of Arabia is going to end. Let's understand what it means then at the ending of the fourth chapter. And then it states, And emptying themselves from the golden oil. This is not the oil of, you understand, of olive oil. But the understanding is the Creator knew that in the region of Arabia in the future during the restoration period it would have lots of oil under the soil. And these, obviously, the first gallon of 10 cubits, obviously, is going to be on Arabia. That's where you get then the mountain, the burning mountain of the 8th chapter of Golan, or Revelation. Then you find the 20 cubits bomb thrown on China because it's the trade leadership of this world. And then you find obviously United States then releasing the bomb upon China and you find then obviously Israel then releasing a bomb on Arabia. Thus then you understand the 11th chapter later 
when you find then the covenant and the desire of Israel of having the third temple and won't ever be built. But you find then a relationship of again United States because of the computer yet coming and Israel because of the temple they so wish having. But then later they will find they can't have the relationship that it used to have in the future during the 200 years of America that was granted and then ended in 2009. So then as we read more further then you will understand that then Gala or the 8th chapter of Revelation is not complete. It lacks the understanding yet from Zechariah then the 5th chapter. So it's not only a bomb. Those are a couple of bombs. One of them is because is the son of Ibrahim Yishmael in charge of trade. The second is then the initiation of the trade of this restoration period via China. And the second obviously is regarding then tabernacling. But tabernacling is exempt from any trouble because it's closed. And the Creator said hey, when they are obedient they remove every want and every person then is sound in a holy camp. So then with this in mind we have then what's coming in the future but firstly after then the deal of Congo next year then you can expect then Arabia then reducing the price of crude and giving then Asia then the primary leadership and then giving them what is required then fuel wise to become then truly once and for every year until the end of this age then the leaders of the trade of this time so much more coming up please stay tuned later going to evaluate more than in details how it's going to take place as per the instructions of the prophet as it was stated before as far as the tabernacling is concerned and then the nation receiving only a bomb regarding then China would be only a bomb but regarding the sons of Ishmael also there is a bomb that's where you get those two Galals and then you can read the fifth chapter and establish for yourself and those are true so please stay tuned much more coming up